the vital A final over four and a half laps. And there the man who is leading the championship, Keith Ripp. With alongside him, Trevor Reeves, who is second in the championship. Number 31 in the second row is Bruce Mayle. And then number 38, Colin Howard. 32 is Nick Garner from Solihull. And 83 is Barry Hathaway in the Fiesta. 59 is Keith Farrance in the Mini. And number 39 is Ian Rawl from Biddeford in yet another Mini. Four and a half laps, and the two top men are in the front row. Keith Ripp has never won a major rallycross championship. He means to do so today. And a beautiful start for Ripp. The others seem to pause. Reed Keith Ripp got the reds and the clutch drop absolutely right. He's gone through into Chesson's Drift in the lead. Where is Trevor Reeves? The answer is in third position. There is the leader, Keith Ripp. On to the tarmac now. Don't forget that this one is a four and a half lap race. And in second place from Wallheath, it's Bruce Mail in the mini. Now Trevor Reeves has got to catch Bruce Mail, and there's a 10 second penalty for Keith Ripp. He won't know that unless he gets a signal. And this has, he's had trouble before today, not a penalty, but in that sense, but Keith Ripp inadvertently earlier on in his first qualifying run put four wheels off the track as a result of which his time was disallowed. There was nothing unfair about it, he just couldn't control the car when he went into a drift, but he has been adjudged to have jumped the start and there he is, he's been given, been given a signal plus 10 seconds. So now Keith Ripp will know that he's got to somehow pull out 10 seconds lead over all the rest of them and particularly Trevor Reeves and he's certainly not doing it because right behind him is number one, Bruce Mayle. 31, Bruce Mayle. There's Mayle in the Mini. Behind Mayle is Trevor Reeves in the Metro. Behind Trevor Reeves in the white and blue Fiesta is Barry Hathaway. That's in fourth position. Then in fifth position it's Colin Howard, but it's the first four that we're really concentrating on. And round the right-hander, the hairpin at the top, in second gear, taking it very wide, too wide. Keith Ripp, and that gives Bruce Mayle the opportunity to close up a bit. It gives Trevor Reeves in the Unipark Metro the opportunity to close up a bit. And it will be a grimly determined number 25, Keith Ripp, behind the wheel there, using all his experience, trying to pull out that 10 seconds, but there's no way he's going to do it at the present moment. Two laps out of four and a half completed. And Keith Ripp could be seeing his championship chances slip away. But there is still the super final. The winner of this A final gets 16 points. But then the fastest four from the Division 1 and the fastest four from the Division 2 over 1,600cc contestants take part in a super final. That will not, of course, affect the Division 1 final championship. And Keith Ripp has got to do well in this race. He's got to pull ahead by more than 10 seconds. And it looks as though he certainly isn't going to do it because it's first, Rip. It is second, Mayo. It is third, Hopkins. No, in, fourth, in third position, it is Reeves. And in fourth position, it's Barry Hathaway. Three laps completed. Four and a half lap race. That is Barry Hathaway in fourth position. Coming through now, behind him is Colin Howard, number 38 in fifth place. And then the mud bespattered mini and Bruce Mayle there. There he goes. And that means to say that Keith Ripp has lost the leadership because Bruce Mayle and Trevor, Re Trevor Re Reeves is off the course. Well, this is turning into a tremendously dramatic final, A final, and it's going to be very difficult to work out the absolute final championship standings because now Bruce Mayle, number 31, there he goes, is leading this 30-year-old Hornage contractor from Wallheath in his Mini with only three years' experience of autocross and rallycross all over the country. The man you hardly ever see without a cigar in his mouth, except under conditions like now, is ahead 
side of the championship leader, Keith Rip, who looks as though he's not going to make it because they're into the last half lap. And Trevor Reeves, who was second in the championship, is out of the race. He's not in the running. And now, there goes the leader, Bruce Mayle, to win the A final over four and a half laps with Keith Ripp in second position, with Barry Hathaway in third position. Let us now look at a replay of slow motion of that vital start. See, Keith Ripp gets away before all the others. He streaks away. It cost him 10 seconds, but in the end, Keith Ripp, in spite of that penalisation was a judge to have finished in third place. Behind Bruce Mayall, the winner, Hathaway in second place, Colin Howard in fourth, Keith Har Farrance in fifth, Nick Garner in sixth, and Ian Rawl in seventh place. And in the end, Keith Ripp has deservedly won the British Rallycross Championship Division 1 of 1981 with 127 points. Trevor Reeve second, and then Keith Farrance, Bruce Mayall in a fine fourth place, ahead of Barry Hathaway, the brother of the reigning British champion, and in sixth place, Derek Scarrow with 74 points.